Um, right now, we're gonna open up with one of my favorite categories, best barbecue. Let's just get it. It's a hotly contested category. Let's just get it started. And here to help us with this, he is known as the new Mr. Las Vegas. And his nightly show at the Flamingo Resort has been voted best 10 p.m. show for years and years. She is the star of the uh, sci-fi series Erica and upcoming film We The Party. Please welcome my main man, George Wallace and the lovely Sally Richardson. Come on, make some more noise. You can do better than that. That's what I'm talking about. Because I've been smoking that ass, smoking that ass. <laughs> Steve Harvey, first of all, Sally, you want to say anything to Steve? Because i got to say something personal to Steve. No, you go, you go ahead. You, well, you I just want him to know that we're so happy that you have come back to Las Vegas. See, y'all don't understand. I live here. I'm the only black headliner in Las Vegas. And when I see this many black people, I get excited. And Steve Harvey brings them here every year. We have such a great time. I ain't seen this so many black people. Oh, but last week, the Jacksons were here. Wait, let me tell you something. They were good. I went to meet them all, Steve. They didn't tell me their mama was missing, so. <laughs> they ain't said nothing about their mama was missing. Now, y'all know what happened, right? That oldest girl is getting old enough to talk back. And Miss Jackson is 82. She said, I ain't taking this shit. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. Talking back to me, and you know they ain't Michael Kidd anyway. You know she's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> Catherine, Catherine Jones, you don't want me to call Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe will put a whooping on their ass, but I'm so happy to see so many. <laughs> oh, Steve. Is Sally, this, I was. Yeah. Can we get to what we came here for? Yeah, we're gonna get to it. Okay. I got to tell you something, though. I was right, watching TV this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I'm watching TV this morning. I'm watching the Olympics. Y'all seen that little black girl? Yeah. Is she good or what? Yeah. Let me tell you something. I ain't seen a black person flip, jump, and move like that since they whooped Rodney King's ass. Yeah. No, I ain't ready. Oh, uh, Steve, Steve, These what do you do to, to me here? No, 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 you gotta let it go. I this is what he okay. do. All right. I need these black people here because next 2016, I'm running for president, and y'all need to know that I'm running for president. There's gonna be some changes made, and I'm telling you right up front, I'm putting Mexican in charge of everything. Every cabinet post, every administrative position, I'm putting Mexicans in charge. You wanna know why? Because Mexicans can get done. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. A Mexican will show up on time. A Mexican will bring other people with them. <laughs> Mexican are smart. Anything can be done, a Mexican can do it. Walk into a Chinese restaurant and eat your Chinese food. And when you're walking out, stop, look in the back, see who's cooking your Chinese food. <laughs> Go on back there and say hello to Maylene Sanchez. <laughs> now, what we come up here for? Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> We come up here to talk about barbecue. You got okay. the right person. Let me tell you something about barbecue. <laughs> I've been to every barbecue place in the world. Memphis, Tennessee, they will barbecue you. <laughs> Don't be so proud, because y'all, you ever been to Memphis, they barbecue road killers. They just barbecue in the of Memphis. <laughs> Memphis is the only city in America where they barbecue bologna. <laughs> Kansas City got good barbecue. Jacksonville, Florida, got a place called Jenkins Barbecue. It's a real hole in the wall, isn't it? That's your first sign of a real good barbecue is a hole in the wall. And Jenkins has a drive-through with no PA system. You can be 20 cars back, the lady just stick her head out of one, her name is Smiley. Hey!
what you want back then. And when you get up to that window, your order is ready to go. And when you get home, ain't none of that shit yours. But listen, I love good barbecue. Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, they got a place. The rib crib, old fashioned, the rib crib, they got, they put your barbecue sauce on a paintbrush. And the man that cooked the meat, his hands are the same color as the meat. If you ever get there late, they're closing people stand outside just to lick his fingers and suck his thumb. That's how good that barbecue is. I know good barbecue. I like to go to a barbecue place where somebody just got shot. And nobody got out of line. That's when you know that's some. We got to. I got to go. I got to go back down to Flamingo and do my little show. <laughs> Ooh, I'm tired. You Was ready it? for me? Yeah, I'm ready for you. Oh, uh -oh. am I ready for you? Well, Don't you ask me no question like that. <laughs> I'll take you upstairs. We play the road game. You know what the road game is? You lay down and I'll blacktop you. Now, come on. I'm gonna say hello to all the white people in here too. How y'all white people doing? Ain't nobody said nothing to the white people. Is that man white or he just light skin? <laughs> he white? Sitting next to that Donnie McClurk? Oh, I love you. Steve, he wrote a song called We Fall Down, We Get Up. Now, I know damn well you were drunk when you wrote that song, wasn't you? I always talk about him every time I look at Elle Crawford. You know we're talking about barbecue. Look at him. I bet you $5 Lavelle Crawford got some barbecue in his back pocket right now. I love him. I love you. Hey, Cheryl Underwood. I love you. You know I love you. Okay. Okay, we're going to talk right. about some barbecue. All okay. right, now the nominees for Best Barbecue Place sponsored by Home Depot are Roper's Ribs, KMJM 104.9 FM, St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. Bledsoe's Barbecue, KJLH 102.3 FM, Los Angeles, California. This is it, Barbecue and Seafood Magic 107.5 FM, Atlanta, Georgia. Big Daddy's Barbecue and Seafood, WBAZ 102.7 FM, Chicago. Woo! All right. And the winner is, I live in Atlanta. I was just at This Is It on Wednesday, and they charged me for my food. I, I hope. And the winner of the Best Barbecue Place category, we need some new categories, too. In the neighborhood, we need Best Hole and the Best Pimp and the Best... The best hookup man, the best funeral home. I told Steve, you know, let the dead people talk. We need some more damn categories. Ready? And the winner is, the best barbecue category is... Ludso's Barbecue of Long Beach, California! Long Beach, California! Long Beach, California! Ludso Barbecue! Hey, we brought it back to L.A. I want to thank God. I want to thank Monique. I want to thank my partner, Damien. I want to thank all of y'all. Thank you. Appreciate you. Love you. Okay. Here, here we go. Take, take your time. Take your time. Thank Let me you, thank Jesus. Monique. Take your time. Thank you, Jesus. Take your time. Couldn't have did it without her, y'all. 
Thank you. Just want to say it's a blessing. Thank you, Steve, for putting this all on, and we keeping it in the hood. Thank you. Blood so barbecue. L.A.